So it's no secret that the NBA overall right now is in a bit of a transitional period. Yes, you have your up and coming superstars like Jason Tatum and Luka Doncic, but you also have these guys who have been faces of the league for decades Yo, like Steph. Since we speaking of the NBA, let me see something, 2.5. Oh my God, I was just listening to that Big 30. Oh, NBA, schedule. I gotta see what time the game come on. Oh yeah, come on today. Oh, at 8.30. Alright, facts. Alright, my bad. I just had to, I had to make sure. Three and LeBron James aging. I didn't want to miss that shit. Their prime. So right now it's clear that the NBA is scrambling to find their next LeBron-esque figure to essentially be the face of the league. And a couple of years Nobody. ago, if you would have asked me who I thought was going to be the face of the league in the future, I really only had one name in mind, and that was this man Zion Williamson. I just felt like with the amount of hype that he had coming into the Yo, league from a very it. young age, and he just kept living up to the hype, whether that be in high school or college at Duke, and then even when he got I mean, to the he NBA, he was playing he pretty well playing. before he kept getting injured. Nah, I just figured so eventually well. he was going to be that guy who could deal with all the pressure and noise surrounding oh, him in a social area, media world. Well, now we are obviously years removed from that draft <laughs> now. And while Zion Williamson Zesty has received Williamson. a massive contract, he is definitely not the face of the league and spends more time dressed in street clothes on the sideline than he does actually playing. And I really bring Zion up today because he has been involved in some massive drama. It all started yesterday when this video was posted about Zion's pregnancy announcement of his new baby mama. My baby, <laughs> you're gonna see this at some point. I don't know what the future holds, but mommy and daddy love you. You don't know nothing else in this world, know that mommy and daddy love you. And so it's like good for him. I believe the dude is already in his like early 20s. Nothing wrong with having a baby at that age. But notice how he said this right here. I don't know what the future holds, but mommy and daddy love you. You see, he's talking about you don't know what the future holds, and the baby mama is looking up at him like, some point. What are you talking about, fool? I don't know what the future holds, but mommy and daddy do. And so people start digging up all this different information about his baby mama. <laughs> Basically, like she's that? the type of woman that you could see naked online for free, which is kind of just run of the mill activity when it comes to professional athletes these days. He really just ain't know what to say. The type of women that they tend to choose. Or I guess maybe I should say impregnate. But the real drama wouldn't start until this woman, Mariah Mills, wouldn't start tweeting out all these cryptic messages. Apparently, she is a former corn star turned OF girl. So what I'm saying is this man, Zion, obviously has a type. So first, she starts out by just saying the jokes write themselves at this point. Little passive aggressive, you know, that one could really be about anyone. Then here, she starts going straight for the jugular. She says, congrats, oh, Zion Snapchat. Williamson. Happy for you. And then she shares these Snapchat messages Yo, allegedly Snap. from Zion. I'll be on Snap, man. Follow me on, I'll be on Snap, matter of fact. I'll be on Snap, chasing, niggas be chasing me on that shit. I'll be, for me, responding to everybody and shit for me. I, and I add niggas back for me. I add everybody back. So make sure I go follow me. My Snap is YBWJU1. For me. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Snap hella federal, though. You really will get, if you got a girl where you really will get caught up on Snap. On. They say, they say, it's like everything gets saved in messages. It says, love you in these jeans, and I'm gonna FaceTime you in a little bit so we can talk about you moving. And I just gotta say it, Zion has never struck me as the smartest guy around. I mean, dude, uh, you're trying to move discreetly, wins. allegedly smashing all these different women at the same time. And yeah, you're off to a good start by using Snapchat. But why just have your full name on there, my guy? Nah, this I is very lie. reminiscent Facts. of when he was playing at Duke and he was hitting up your peep nigga his full government, yo. That's random crazy. white girl from one of the other schools while they were playing on the road, and she exposed this man for basically simping on another level. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Why are you so handsome? Why are you so beautiful? I'm not. Oh my god. The night that she did that, an <laughs> nah, absolute yo. savage was. Nah, what the fuck, dog? Zesty Williams sent him the comments like it was. Zesty Lauren, Williams. that was Zion's Joker origin moment. And then she just shares some other Snapchat messages from Zion. I want to fly you wherever I'm at for four days. You sexy as F. 
And trust me, this story is about to get a lot crazier. She says, I hate you on God, Zion Williamson. <laughs> and like how she hashtags him to get this tweet more attention. Looks like you had a girlfriend and were sleeping with other women behind my back. At Zion Williamson, you liar. And then she shares more messages where he says, Bet, I don't have a girlfriend, but if I moved you to New Orleans, would you be cool with like being my official... What does he say, bitch? Just asking so I know how to go about this situation with respect. When you move, how much do you expect me to pay you? L Riz, bro. L Riz. This is W Riz. Y'all think this W Riz, huh? Month. So yeah, this man was apparently, allegedly, ready to fund her entire lifestyle, this uh, former corn star. She then goes on to say, better pray I'm not pregnant too because I'm definitely late. I was with you last week in New Orleans and you couldn't tell me you had a random thought pregnant after all I've done for you? I mean, I really want to know what she's done for this man lie, besides drain his sex. Like, the only reason she really did this was because she's seen it. Like, she's seen a nigga was about to have a baby and shit. Like, that's what I be trying to say. Like, girls really envy each other. Like, why do you think every time you at a party you see girls fighting? Because girls really hate each other. Like, they be trying, they always trying to bring each other down. She then says, you're putting my life in danger effing all these new hoes raw. I mean, this is a crazy sentence to come from someone. But you can easily do a Google search of and see all kinds of videos and of them like, smashing. She even if like I say they was best friends, even if she was best friends with like they was best friends, and she seen her best friend was having a baby with Zion Williamson, bro, she gonna do whatever she could to like ruin that shit for me. Like the white thing, niggas be fucking with girls, girls and they best friends because it's like the best friends really will give it up too. No funny shit. I, said, I warned you about trapping type hoes at Zion Williamson, and you didn't listen to me. I know the game. Fuck you and congrats again. The bill was too high, so you had to scrap for crumbs when you couldn't see me or I was busy. Oh uh, yeah, he's a 22-year-old NBA player, and you really thought you were gonna be the only woman he was messing around with? I mean, what I will say about Zion is, dude, you gotta make these types of women sign an NDA before you do anything with them. Hop on the phone with Derek Jeter, he'll tell you all about his little goodie bags he was giving out. Maybe go for some slightly higher quality women than corn stars. Like and right GTA on cue she character. says, couldn't even impregnate a real corn star. Which is not something to be disgusted by. Like anyone who's in a situation where they do impregnate a real corn star, should be cast away from their village. She says, I motivated you to get back in shape because we all know Zion has a problem with the, uh, you know, the snacks. She likes to get a little bit overweight. I let you F me all kinds of ways. Fill me on your phone. And you impregnate a low budget corn star. DNA test her, I'm done. So she's still giving our guy a chance. I told you you were going to be the next king next to LeBron. I motivated you. Your baby mama is the reason you gained weight. Yo, she's she talking. really doing all this on Twitter. I hate this for you. That she honestly, Zion Williamson, like... you hurt me with this one. I couldn't sleep last night. I mean, this is seriously just an insane amount of putting your dirty laundry out there for everyone to see and smell. And ooh, it smells like shit. I mean, yeah, she's just out here saying crazy stuff. She let this man spit in her mouth. <laughs> You let that hoe finesse you is why I'm angry. She's 29 with an adult child already. I'm just like trying to do the math on that. That doesn't make any sense. I know what comes with being a basketball player, girl. I know there will be another woman, but didn't expect you to get these hoes pregnant. So now she's like twisting her story around. Because at first she's like, oh, I thought you weren't messing around with any other women. And now she's like, listen, I know you had other girls, but why'd you have to get her pregnant? Why'd you have to shoot up the club? Why be a low budget baby mom when you can be the kept girlfriend? So now she's like kind of coming to terms with everything. See, you know, I think they say there's like three states. She's trying to bring the other bitch down. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. Girls really envy each other. She's of getting over something. I believe it's like anger, grief, and then acceptance. And she's on to the acceptance stage. I guess I'm gonna be stepmommy now, she says. You're not effing up me and Zion Williamson's plans, baby or not. It is what it is. I mean, these types of women are just insane. I mean, this clearly she she's... And this she did all that. And this, uh, I'm off this the type of person that we know has no shame and at the end of the day all these types of women really wants is this guy's money she then sends out one last message to the baby mama and says you need a baby to get a bag i get it just cuz we know on the same level i mean these women are having a serious hope nah i ain't gonna lie peep his little profile picture though <laughs> i said this video though this shit basically over let me know what y'all think about that and make sure y'all like bro y'all stay on top of like
Watch who you pregnant out here. Like, don't have no better baby moms for me. Like, and watch what you doing, bro. Strap up. Wear a strap. It's that simple. Strap up. Go go invest in some condoms, man. That's in this video. My IG Dior Jew. My Snap YBW Jew one. My OnlyFans free subscription. I have Dior Jew. That like might not see one.